bull market uh, in equities is still too strong. So this is major opportunity cost. I think that also the cryptocurrencies uh, are, are kind of stealing the show from gold because people care more about those ICOs than they care about uh, junior mining companies in Burkina Faso or whatever. Um, that's just more interesting at the moment, but that's that's definitely going to change. But I think the real, real trigger for gold will be the U-turn by the Fed. It will come sooner or later. From my point of view, recession fears are completely underpriced. Actually, nobody is speaking about the US recession these days. Um, and we've had the same thing in 2007 when nobody was speaking about a US recession or a global recession. Um, and, and therefore, I think once this extreme positioning changes, this will also um, 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 be very, very beneficial for the price of gold. I think the most important thing is that we're at the beginning of a new bull market. Um, we have seen that in commodities, they made their lows uh, end of 2015. Uh, gold made its panic low um, and a beginning of 2016. Um, I think we're making um, higher lows. Uh, I think the sentiment is, is, is still really, really negative. Uh, have a look at the positioning of, of, of uh, the, the, the big players. Nobody really cares about gold these days. So I think it's, uh, it's the, the perfect time to buy into weakness. Um, just um, focus on companies that you like. Um, I think that silver um, is, is a great bargain. Uh, if you believe in the bull market, uh, silver will outperform gold. So, so I think from a contrarian point of view, it's, uh, it's, it's a great environment.